form of beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. What I do know is that if editing Angie has done her job properly, you're watching me in black and white. You know I'm going to forget one of these times, don't you? So if the uh, title and thumbnail didn't already give it away, you'll know, if you are an OG viewer, that this is the continuation of my photo inspiration collaboration series. Wow, words. And I am delighted to be doing round three with the stunning Linda. So, if you want to find out exactly which photo Linda and I are taking our inspiration from today, what this looks like in a glorious Technicolor, and indeed, what Linda's film will look like, clearly you won't see that in my film, but once you've watched mine you can go watch hers, my friend, you have the best seat in the house. Here it comes. Hey, welcome back from the intro, which hopefully was in black and white. <laughs> this is, as no doubt the thumbnail, title and description would have told you, the latest in my photo inspiration collaboration series. I don't know why, but I always feel like I need to say that in quite a Queen's English manner. Oh. Anyway, <clears throat> I am so thrilled that so many of you are loving this collab series. Um, it was an idea of mine that, that just sort of sprung into my head at two o'clock one morning um, about how one photo can inspire people in two very different ways to create two very different looks. Um, and thankfully, quite a few of my YouTube friends are feeling the same way. It's so much so that the beautiful Linda, that I have collabed with <clears throat> twice now, is happy to go for rounds three and four. And this is round three. Hey, hey. Um, oh, I mean, you all know I love my Swedish YouTubers. Um, I think I was Swedish in a previous life because just something really draws me to them and also the Swedish YouTubers that I follow all do such beautiful looks with colour and you, you know, you'll know me now in today's collaboration we are using a photo that a friend of mine Becky took here is the photo now I'm sure a lot of you are surprised because there's a lot of brown in that photo and I don't normally use brown she said, striking her leopard print top. <laughs> now, as well as the, the shades of brown on the log, you've got green leaves, you've got the blues, the white, and a little bit of yellow on the front of that blue tit. So, I thought this would be a challenge for me because it has fewer colours and it has got brown, so I have got to use a brown. Because the only rules with this series is you can only use colours in the photo. So brown, green, blue, white, yellow. You can't add any colours in, but you don't have to use all of the colours. So, I have picked out three palettes to use today. I'm going to use my Affinity 1 and 2. And I'm pulling out an old favourite. Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. Who knew? So, uh, let's get you zoomed in while I go through a wee bit of housekeeping on this. Now, all of my films are uh, aimed at all skill levels, from complete beginners to experts, and no, I am not claiming to be an expert. Far from it. But I do go through stages a bit slower. That's also because of my chronic pain. I can't go as quickly as a lot of people do. Um, if I'm going too slowly for you, 
there is a speed button either there or there please use it and speed me up I won't be offended I will however be offended if you continue to moan about the length of my videos when I say this at the start of all of my videos <clears throat> you know when I set this channel up I wanted it to be accessible to everyone I wanted even absolute beginners to be able to follow each stage now I don't go as in depth with the sort of tutorial element on this inspiration series if you're a real absolute beginner um, I'd recommend choosing one of my ordinary tutorial films first because I go through how if you've got hooded lids how to work out if you've got hooded lids or deep set eyes and how you can still follow tutorials uh, but this one is all about the person I'm collabing with and the photograph so let's start off with some brown uh, my face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed and on my lids I've got MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot which I have not set. I'm going in with my Royal and Langnickel Chic Pro Crease Brush. Can we focus on the brush please? Thank you. Oh, do you know what? This palette still smells like chocolate, it's amazing. Right, I'm going to start off with, I think, Moose. Um, now, I've collabed with Linda quite a few times now, as I said. Um, when I first collabed with her, she had, I think, seven subscribers. And bless her, she was so shocked. She was like, are you, are you sure? And I'm like, well, yes, I've enjoyed watching you. Um, I'd love to collab with you if you'd like to because I don't look at collabs as a way to expand my channel. I look at collabs as a way of acknowledging friendships across YouTube of um, basically people that I admire are the people that I want to collab with. People that inspire me when I watch them. Um, so yeah, and she was she was one of those people. I, I discovered her... Okay, it's a bit of a long drawn out. I'll go through it again. Um, I started off watching Angelica Nyquist. Um, through her I found Paulina from Paulina's Beauty. Um, I discovered Jessica from Stars Hollywood Jessica completely by accident. I'd done my, these are all my eyeshadow palettes film, and um, other content creators will tell you, when you upload a film with, with certain tags, you'll find that films with similar tags will then start to appear in your newsfeed alongside people that you're subscribed to. And Jessica's one came up where she said, I have 1,400 palettes, like 1,400, and I'm like, that's got to be a typo. Yeah, it's not a typo. I think Jessica has more palettes than a Sephora does. Um, and I was just captivated by her personality. And she's got a gorgeous dog called Gunvald. Actually, Paulina's got a cute dog too, called Sike. Uh, both feature in their videos. And then through um, Jessica, I found uh, Marlin, Marlin Modan, who I have collabed with. And through both Marlin and Jessica, I found Linda. Um, and as I said, Linda, when I first watched her, she had, I think, s seven subscribers. But I absolutely fell in love with her. She's like me. She's very soft-spoken. Um, I don't think she realises quite how ASMR her content is. But I assure you, it is ASMR content. Um, she just... She's so lovely. Um, she she's very supportive of everybody as well, um, and always so thankful of, of kind comments. So you know, I I just adore working with the woman. I think she's amazing. I really do. 
and uh, again we have very similar tastes when it comes to palettes and colourful looks. Right, I have put a brown on my lid. Um, right, um, I think I might deepen that up a little bit with a little bit of... Um, I'm going to mix Blueberry Swirl with a little bit of, I think, Truffled. I love hearing Next Door's Girls playing. So, still on the same brush, and I'm just going to run this through and deepen it up a little bit. Because I still want to keep this brown element, because, I mean, this could then be a look that, if you are a neutral lover, maybe this could be your your introduction to colour because the easiest way to start playing with colour is to do your usual neutral mattes and then just pop a pop of colour on the lid and just see how you go but I'm just pulling in some of the blue to pick up on some of the blue in the bird whilst still maintaining the brown element. And you can see this, given how old this palette is, still blends together really nicely. I mean if there's one thing Too Faced can do, it's, it's brown shadows. I did end up decluttering my um, Mickey Tutorials one to my mind Sophie because it just Colours weren't pigmented enough for me, but she's not as nuts on colour as I am. She's a, a more neutrally girl. Not that there's anything wrong with that, at all. So I'd rather she got use out of it than it just sit in my makeup box going out of date and, you know, becoming unusable. I mean, I bought it originally to support Nikki tutorials. Um, really frustrated at the the quality of it though because it was not what she debuted on her channel but then you know that was that was a very well discussed scandal where they sent her a sample palette she signed off on it she used that to swatch with and then they either changed factories or swapped some of the ingredients or something because the palettes that went out to the general public were not as good. Not by a long shot. But you can see deepening this up with a little bit of the blue. So it's still quite neutral but you're starting to bring a little bit of colour in. Uh, but yes, as I said, Linda is Swedish. Um, she's linked in. I've got a list of all my Swedish YouTubers that I follow. So far, the only two I haven't collabed with are Paulina and Angelica Nyqvist and Angelica Lund. I'm not sure on her on pronouncing her surname. Um, but I have collabed with Jessica. Marlin and Linda and they produced some amazing works I tell you and it's it's so exciting to me when someone enjoys the concept that I've created and likes it so much that they're happy to come back and collab again now I'm just literally just really buffing over this to to get a very soft blend where the two colours meet, I might actually pick up a little bit of mousse, which was the colour I started off with, just to help blend that darker edge in. So I've got a nice gradient. Because although I do kind of architectural, gothic y, stark looks where I have harsh lines, this one I want to be a little bit more blended and a bit more um, seamless. I was 
John McLean would say. Hmm, I like that. Now, on to the lid. Actually, I might deepen that crease up a little bit. <clears throat> right, let me grab it. This is one of my Morphe M321 brushes. And I'm just going to go into Affinity 2. And I'm going to pick up some of Shazad, which is the green. I'm just going to run that. Just through the crease there. And on this outer corner, just to deepen things up and give us a hint of foliage. I love doing these collabs. Um, so far, every single person that I've collabed with, we've produced different looks, which I think is amazing, really. It just shows you that different parts of the picture call to different people. And I do love using pictures that my friends have taken as well. Um, this is the second time I've used a friend's picture, but there's a lot of times that I'll say to a friend, Ooh, would you mind if I use this on my channel? And then I kind of screenshot it and provide them. They say yes, obviously. And uh, just hold it in reserve until I feel, Oh yes, this person would be good for this picture, or this person would be good for this picture. And also, depending on the season as well, so because we're coming into spring, one of the photos that my mate Anne took I did in my collaboration with Merlin, my first collaboration with her, and she was so touched that I'd used a picture that my friend had taken for the first collab with her, which I thought was so sweet. Um, don't pull your eye out like this unless you absolutely have to. I've got super deep creasing here from where my eye was pulled around when I was a kid, so do just have to do that unfortunately. This eye, it doesn't do it as you can see, but this one, I do get that tiger striping. So, let's add a little bit of green. Now I think it's time to add a wee bit more blue back in. I'm thinking actually of doing an all matte look today. Haven't done one of those for a while. Let me have a look at blue tit. What colours do we have upon you, dear boy? We've got a deep blue and a grey blue and then a white and then a yellow. Mm. I think I'm going to go into Munir. Still with this M321, but I've cleaned it off on the microfiber cloth. I'm just going to pop this on the outer edge there, blending in with that green. This is the beauty of these um, Affinity palettes. They don't go muddy. At least they haven't done so far. You watch me make this look go muddy now, I said that. But, you know, I've used... This is the third palette that I've had from Certify. I said that I had, that I've bought from Certify. First one I bought was the Destiny palette. And I liked the formula, so I bought the Affinity 1. And then the Affinity 2. Um, the woman that owns Certify is the sister to the lady that runs Blush Tribe. Blush Tribe I do have a discount code with, Certify I don't as yet. 
Um, all my discount codes are listed in my description box and clearly stated whether or not I earn money from them. The Blush Tribe one, I do not. Uh, but, you know, it's more important for me that you save money. I'm not fussed about earning from affiliate codes at all. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Uh, now I think I'm going to go into Affinity 1. And I'm going to grab... See I've got two yellows to choose from, the Salma and Annie. I think I might do a mixture of both because the Salma's a little bit too bright for the colour that's actually on the bird. So I'm just going to add this to this part of the lid and gently blend it into the blue. I'm really quite liking this more subtle look for me actually. You don't see them very often on this channel folks. It's quite nice. This is this is the whole point of the photo inspiration challenge. I just I loved this photo that Becky had taken so much. It didn't even occur to me that it's mainly more neutral colours and that just the bird is the only real brighter colours on there. But I like that. I'm actually quite liking this more muted look. Which who am I? Okay, continuing with this brush. Once I have cleaned it off on. The microfiber cloth, of course. Just make sure I'm not getting any pigment coming off of it. And I'm going to go into Manasa, which is a beautiful creamy colour. And I'm going to use that right in the inner corner. Just add a pop of light. I mean, obviously, I'm going to be highlighting the inner corner anyway. But just to add that wee pop of light onto the lid. And again. Blending that over into the yellow. Just pick up a wee bit of that yellow again, just to Brighten up just the middle of the lid a little bit. I did slightly go over it with the white, that's not a problem. I'm just going to pop back into Affinity 2 and grab a little bit of that Shazad colour, the green again. Just to re-deepen where the white went a little bit higher than I planned. So I'm just going to run that green back through the crease there just to, to redefine it really.
This is turning into a really, really pretty look. Right, I'm going to pause you while I go off camera and do some foundation and etc. And I'll be back to finish this look off with you. See you right now. Okay, I am back. Uh, I think I'm going to... I'm going to grab my flat top brush that I usually use. And I'm going to go back into Affinity 2 and pick up that green, the Shazad. And I'm just going to, just so that it picks up on the green here, I'm just going to run that along under my eye like so. And do the same thing this side. I'm flinching because obviously being blind in this eye I don't have any peripheral vision and the number of times I poke myself in the eye you would not believe. You probably would actually. If you've watched me any length of time you know what a klutz I am. Okay. And now my little stubby brush. Going into my Too Faced Semi Sweet. Uh, I'm going to pick up a little bit of blueberry soil and a little bit of mousse. And just buff that along the lower lash line. Just to soften it up slightly. Still can't get over how good this smells. It genuinely smells like cocoa powder. Just going back in with a little bit of mousse just to buff the very, very edges of it. There, I like that. And now, this is a old lip brush that I got off of eBay years ago. And I'm going to use my Gerard Cosmetics highlighter in shade Audrey. What I love about these Gerard ones, when you open it up, you then have another little plastic thing here that helps keep this flat. So when you're travelling, it really does protect the powder. Also helps stop it getting it on the mirror, which is good. Had to not do my purple brows because there was no purple in the picture. Not that I mind. This is such a stunning highlight. It really is. It's um, it's one of the few. This one and Jeffrey's sarcophagus. Um, and actually Jeffrey's Uranus as well, or Uranus. Those are the only ones that I've found that if you're neutral to cool, being a gold or a champagne, it doesn't look off on you. Because I am neutral, leaning towards cool. So if I have too bright of a gold or too warm of a gold or a champagne, it just makes my skin look awful. But this one from Gerard, uh, which I actually bought before I had my affiliation with them. Um, you save 30% with my code. Uh, and I believe if you use my link to click through, you're more likely to see um, special offers and stuff. I believe that's how it works. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I do get a small commission from that if you decide to use my code. Um, but to be honest... I'd rather you just use it and save yourself the 30%. I'm really not bothered about making money on it. But, I mean, this, my um, Starlit Honeymoon palette that I've used for the bronze and the blush and quite a few of the lippies that I've got I actually bought before I had my affiliation with them. So, I wouldn't have accepted... A discount code with a company that I didn't already use and wasn't already happy with. Right, I'm going to pause you one more time 
and I'm going to put a highlight on the rest of my face, do some mascara, do some lippy, and I'll be back with the final look. Hey, I'm back. Uh, as you can see, highlight over everything. Uh, I use my Barium, that's how I roll waterproof mascara, and my MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick. So, what do you think? There's the photo. How do you think I did? I know, my 4F family are probably falling off the log right now because they're like, you've done an all matte, subtle look that isn't screaming colours everywhere. This is, if you've come over from Linda's channel um, and she's told you that I play with colour a lot, you're probably thinking, really? But yeah, check out any of my other thumbnails, any of my other photos um, on Insta or any other films on here. Uh, you will see, I love colour. But I was so entranced by this beautiful little blue tip on a branch in the spring sunshine. And I really wanted to do a natural, neutrally look for a change. Um, because, you know, if you are someone who can't get away with bright colours at work, you could wear this to work quite easily. It's an all matte look, so there's no shimmers to... Okay, you might want to tone the highlight down a little bit, but, uh, you know, you could get away with this look for work. Uh, not necessarily college, I think college it might be a little bit. But this would be awesome for a night out, especially if you're wearing blue. If you are here from Linda's channel, I really hope you're enjoying this. Um, and I hope you'd like to stay and join our wonderfully supportive and full of love for a family. Now, I'm going to film the intro for this and then I'm going to go and edit it, but while you are watching me, I am going to be watching Linda. And my 4F babies, yes my chair is squeaking, I, I, I need to oil it, although to be fair, it does kind of match how my back is feeling at the moment. If you're one of my 4F babies and you haven't already discovered Linda from our previous two collabs we did, you are missing a trick. She is beautiful. She also has one of the nicest voices on YouTube. If I'm feeling stressed and I need to calm down, I'll either put one of Linda's films on or one of Val's films because... I don't think Linda realises quite how ASMR her voice is, but it is so soothing, like, you know, pouring oil on tempestuous water, it just smooths everything out. So, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.